Hey guys, it's Minecraft Dude, and today I'll be showing you part two of my how to make an auto harvester for sugarcane. Alright, first of all, we need to start filling in uh, these blocks right here. And I'm sorry if you guys don't like using me using fly, but um, believe it or not, it helps me reduce lag. I know it seems kind of like, like that's a lie, but it really isn't. It really helps me reduce lag. As you saw from the other sugarcane video I showed with the completed version of it um, it was actually I wasn't using fly and that's why it was so laggy and doing crap alright I tried using um, what's it called fraps but uh, that would take like 12 days to upload to YouTube if I made a video with that so um yeah I'm not using that I'm using Camtasia Studio 7 if anybody can give me a a better application to use to record um, that'd be that'd be great but um okay I just filled in filled that in with dirt and that's where we're gonna put our sugar cane and the next I'm making the spot which um, is pretty much the bottom of the water trough so that the water um, doesn't flow out anywhere so we're gonna build this all the way around and um, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure that out and follow along. I'm going to ask you guys uh, now to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you guys want to ask me to do any tutorials, leave it down in the comment section. And I'll uh, I'll message you back and get back to you. So, um, judging by the new um, title, I'm going to be doing like mod reviews, um, build and plays tutorials, stuff like that. And if, if you guys want to suggest something for that, I'm, I'm welcome to... Um, your suggestions and I might I might even do them and if you want um, you can do um, video responses and I will check them out and then if they're up to standard and they're really good I will post them on my channel I have no problem doing that um, alright so right now we're gonna build in the other side to the water trough type thing so that the water does not flow out so we're gonna finish that up and I want to give another shout out to Minecraft Slimes. Um, I've been helping him out with his channel. I've been letting him double upload my videos. Like I'd upload it to my channel and then I'd give it to him in a Dropbox link and let him upload it. The glass floor is completely optional, by the way. Anyways, but um, go check him out. He needs um, he needs views and subscribers and stuff like that. He's he's starting off. He's a starting off uh, user. He's doing like a Minecraft community type channel and uh, that's why I gave him videos to my videos to post on there so right now I'm filling in the side and um, sorry if I'm going too fast or talking too much but uh, filled in the side now we're gonna go up to but not in this spot right yet I, I kinda screwed up right here so um, we're gonna build right next to it and we're gonna go up to like I was saying. Um, yeah. I'm going to go around and then I'm going to... Well, I'm just going to go around right now. So, um, yeah. I want to give a shout out to Bernie Beast, who I got this map off of. As you see, it is a frost biome or arctic biome map. Um, <clears throat> and... Um, the five minute timer I'm gonna be using is um his design, but um I'm just gonna give you a heads up. It's really sloppy in this video. If you wanna make it compact and look as nice as his, um go check out his uh five minute timer tutorial. It's uh it's really good. Alright, so now I'm gonna be I put down these blocks and this is what the pistons are gonna sit on. Alright. Now I'm gonna build it up another one right here so that I can put the redstone down to power these pistons alright oops okay um yeah I can have a epic fail right there but uh... it's okay Everybody has a derp moment. Alright, we're going to fill that in. And, uh, 
break this block right here. And um, we're gonna break it. Now we are going to pull some cobble out of my inventory because my drop down mod isn't working. And we're gonna keep building the wall. All right, now we're gonna fill in the inside for the little ledge with the pistons are gonna sit onto, on top of. All right. Sorry if I keep making mistakes. It's just, it's really laggy. <coughs> All right. Now um, I'm gonna put the pistons on top. And the only problem I've noticed about this design is that um, the sugar cane doesn't, most of them don't get to be three high. They only get to be about two high. And it, it kind it's kind of bums me out because I, whenever I harvest my sugar cane, I want it to be at least three high. But um, if you have single player commands, I think you can use um, grow while your little plus cursor mark is um, pointed at the... Um, Sugar cane, and I think it would grow to all three high. Uh, all three high. All right, now I'm filling in the trench with water, and as you can see, it's already freezing. Yay, water! All right, let's fill in this last block, and um, now I'm going to put glass over top of the water so that on this um, biome it keeps it from freezing. And in um, regular gameplay, it'll give the sugar plane. Um, why I say that sugar cane somewhere that it can um be collected at. So inside the glass um U shape you can collect your um sugar cane. But um you also need to um kinda go inside where the sugar cane is growing because the push the pistons sometimes don't push it as far out over the um glass. So thanks for watching and um I'll see you next time in part three.